Welcome back. Another special celebration going on right now, Kwanzaa. You may not know what it is or what it's about, but we're going to tell you right now because Vanessa Davis is part of the African Village International, and you guys are hosting a great event celebrating Kwanzaa and the history of Kwanzaa, right? Yes, this is our fourth, fourth annual celebration of Kwanzaa, and we're doing it this year at the Ritz, and we are looking forward to the entire Jacksonville community to come out. It's for everyone. It doesn't matter what your religion is, what your persuasion is, you can come out and, and share in some unity. And I think that's one of the things is, uh, I, was a, I was a black studies minor in college, and so when we, knowing a lot of people think Kwanzaa is associated closer to Christmas and, and that type of holiday, but it's actually closer to a Thanksgiving type holiday. Yeah, I think so. You know, Kwanzaa comes from um, the phrase, the first fruits of harvest. Uh, so that's why uh, you, when you see Kwanzaa, you see the candles, you see normally some corn or some fruit. Um, so definitely uh, it, it's not necessarily like a Christmas. You do get presents, um, which are Zawadi, and they're usually handmade, but it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with uh, any particular uh, religion or persuasion. Just and, it, and it's, it's, uniquely, it's uniquely American, it's uniquely African-American because it was started in 1966. And you said she's she's still, still yeah, alive. Yeah, Dr. Karinga is still alive in um, in uh, California, still being a political activist, and uh, still I'm guessing celebrating Kwanzaa. But we're bringing it to the East Coast and definitely to the First Coast. Uh, and this is our fourth annual celebration, so we're looking forward to it. Very cool. So for details for those wanting to, to come out and enjoy, what can they expect when they come out? Well, on our first day of Kwanzaa is Umoja, Unity, and usually we have like a Unity celebration. Uh, we yeah. re reach out to other community leaders to come out and speak about what they're doing in the community. We uh, talk about Kwanzaa and, and describe Kwanzaa and define Kwanzaa. And we also, um, you know, share in some good music, some great entertainment, and just some fellowship. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's coming up. There's the info on your screen tonight, uh, 6 to 8 p.m., Ritz, Wednesday, December 27th. Uh, you can check it out there, 11 to 1, uh, the Ritz Theater. Um, yeah, we're having free. events. Yeah, all of our events are free, open to the public. We're having events for all seven days. Uh, so the first day is Umoja, then Kuji Chakalia, then Ujima, which is more like a service day. Ujama is cooperative economics. And seven seven days of Kwanzaa. Seven days That's of Kwanzaa. That's right. And we have we have a couple we have a couple models here. They're going to come out and show you some of the stuff you're going to get to see. This is. Uh, two, two models that are very close to, to you, correct? This is Samantha and Xavier. Samantha and Xavier is my daughter and my nephew. Look at the camera. We'll say hi. There you hi. go. And they guys. are dressed. You can come as you are. You can come in your best uh, African outfit or just come as you are. Um, and you will definitely see those two. Yeah. It's about <laughs> celebrating family. Days. It's about celebrating, again, the first harvest. And uh, appreciate you guys being here, little ones. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here and thanks for putting this on for the fourth year. Thank you.